the Internet of today is becoming increasingly hostile to privacy and anonymity. Governments, companies, advertisers, everyone seems to be trying to track everything you do online. It should be obvious that many of these parties don't have your best interests in mind. While the only way to completely protect yourself from these methods is not using the internet at all, that isn't a practical solution. Instead, take a few small steps in the right direction to more privacy. You don't have to use every idea in this video to make a difference. So, here are a few tips to increase your privacy and anonymity on the internet. Usually, every time you sign up for an account on a website, you need to enter your email address. Many of us use the same email everywhere, so it's easy to identify a person across several websites. Instead, try a disposable email address. Services like Trash Mail, 10 Minute Mail or MailDrop create a temporary, random email address you can use to receive and sometimes even send emails. This way you don't need to give out your real address, protecting you from spam and preserving your anonymity. Be aware that many of these addresses are free and public, so don't use them for anything important or sensitive data. Another option would be the website bugmenot.com, where users publicly share fake accounts for anyone to use. It's ideal for a quick login on websites that force you to sign in to read or download something, but sometimes it's difficult to find login credentials that are working. If you have to go further than creating a fake email, FakeNameGenerator.com is for you. The website lets you generate random and fake personal information. Everything from fake home addresses, fake phone numbers, usernames or credit cards is possible. I highly recommend using a different one of these random usernames for every online account, since again many people use the same nickname on all websites. Especially googling unique nicknames is a very easy way to find out a lot about a person's online accounts and activity. Trust me, you don't want to be associated with some things you wrote on Twitter 10 years ago using the same nickname. If you're wondering, fake name generator is not illegal. All of the information, including credit card numbers and national ID numbers, is fake. They can't be used to make purchases. Next, consider using privacy supportive services and web browsers. I know Google Chrome and Gmail are very popular, but they aren't private. There is a whole list of privacy conscious email providers on privacytools.io. Maybe you'll find something you like. I would recommend ProtonMail, Mailbox.org and Posteo. Browsers like Mozilla Firefox or the new Brave browser based on Chromium Respect your privacy and if you're really hardcore, try the Tor browser. It's a modified version of Firefox with pre-installed privacy add-ons and an advanced proxy. Of course you can install the most important privacy add-ons in other browsers as well. They are an important part of protecting your online privacy and I've already made a video about them so I won't be going into great detail. Essentially, use an ad blocker or a script blocker use HTTPS everywhere, block content delivery networks with Decentralize and automatically delete cookies with Cookie Auto Delete. Watch my video on these to find out more details. Another great way to disguise your online activity from prying eyes is using a VPN or proxy server. These services encrypt your web traffic so not even your internet provider is able to see your activity. You will find a good VPN comparison chart on the website that one privacy site.net. Usually the best VPN providers will cost money, but there are exceptions. For example, ProtonMail offers a free Proton VPN. Once you are connected to a VPN, you can test how much information about your connection is visible to websites by checking on sites like leaktest.online or ipleak.net. You also might want to consider changing your DNS server otherwise your provider could still see the website you're visiting even if you are on a VPN connection. Linus Tech Tips recently published a video on Cloudflare's new private DNS server, which I will link in the description. Not only can your web traffic be encrypted, your files can be too. If you are storing files with a cloud service provider like Dropbox or Google Drive, you could encrypt them for free with software like Xcrypt or Cryptomator. 
I already introduced you to Xcrypt in an earlier video. By encrypting your files, no one but yourself can view your photos, videos and documents. Thank you for watching until the end. I hope you found these tips useful. If you have any additional tips for privacy and anonymity, share them with us in the comments.